In this lesson, I will draw the circuit for a bridge rectifier and explain its operation. I recommend that you draw the cir circuit for a bridge rect rectifier by drawing a rectangle on its side like a diamond, like so. Right? Then you put in all the diodes facing from left to right. In this way, you will not mix up, you will not mix up any of the diodes. So, this is the way you do it. One diode like that, other diode like that. All the diodes facing left to right with the cathode facing this side. Okay. Then you draw in the supply at these two points. You draw in the supply. So let's say it's an AC supply going in. And from this point, you draw on the load. Okay, we're going to see by the end of the lesson that this point here will always be positive. So the, the polarity of the voltage across the load will always be positive. Okay, that's what you want. You want to rectify the AC signal so that you get a pulsating DC signal. Now let's see how it operates. We're going to consider um, consider input waveform, sinusoidal waveform. Okay, so that's the input. And we're also going to look at the output. We want to see how the output looks in relation to the input. Now let's consider the first half cycle, which is here, and this will be the positive half cycle, by the way, and this one will be the negative half cycle. Now, during the positive half cycle, this side of supply is positive with respect to this side. Therefore, this side is positive and this side is negative. Now, considering conventional current flow, current will flow from here, from the positive supply, through to this point. It cannot go through this diode. This diode is reversed by us. It will go through this diode. Let's say this is diode number one. And it will go down, down through the load. So it's flowing down through the load. So this side of the load becomes positive. It comes down through the load. And then it will attempt to get back to the supply. Now it will not go through this diode, although this diode number two goes back down to its diode, diode number two, and goes back to the load. So you see that during the first half cycle, the output is still positive. Okay, it's positive. Now the interesting thing is you're going to see that during the negative half cycle, the output will also be positive. Now let's see how that happens. Now during the negative half cycle, the negative, this is here, right? This side now becomes negative and this side becomes positive. So the input here would be negative and here would be positive. Now again, applying conventional current flow, current will flow from the supply here up through diode, let's call this diode number three, through this diode and down to the load again. Again, the current is flowing in the same direction as before. So this, this side becomes positive. It comes down to the load and it will attempt to get back to the negative side. So it's going to come here, reach the junction. Here, the choice it will make would be through this diode, now called this diode number four, back to the supply. So during the negative half cycle, you, you will find then that the output is still positive. So you get a positive output. So you will see from what we have just shown you that the output will always be positive. It will be a pulsating what we call a pulsating DC output. In other words, a sinusoidal AC that swung between negative and positive will produce, after passing through the bridge rectifier, a pulsating DC output. And we have achieved what we call um, full wave rectification. 